The new bomb squad Kyle has arrived and so has the double boiler. Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos where we're going to be looking a little bit into the new bomb squad Kyle with crazy armor bonuses and of course a little peek into the new double boiler if you want to be having fun in the storm for instance. So hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos closing in on 600 days of logging in pretty crazy stuff if we're going to be starting out with bomb squad kyle it may not be the most fun thing at glance getting a hero that gives you 66 additional armor 20 additional armor when used as a support hero but epic games are delivering on what they promised by giving melee more survivability something that i hope i'm gonna be demonstrating in this video where we're going to be surviving in the storm like absolutely crazy. The double bowler is, it's no secret, I'm not a shoddy kind of guy in this game. I don't feel that they really have a good place, but it has a very small ammo capacity, two shots. Uh, but you can get them off pretty fast, they have a very good impact. They deal decent damage and the new perks on this weapon is of course the cone damage behind opponents. So I went in there, grabbed the stuff from the event store along with the other things that I buy on a weekly basis just to stash up a little bit on the goodies because you never really know when you're going to be like needing a little bit of pure drops of rain. I only burned around 100,000 pure drops of rain so I might as well buy the 200 extra per week. I'm just kidding. I need more. I also buy the defenders when they are there, the defenders because you don't really know what perks you're going to be getting on them, some of them can be pretty crazy. But this is the double boiler with the perks on it. You can go double impact rolls, you can go massive crit rolls on it, you have some really crazy options for your two shots. And of course you can select any element on it and as you can see on hit bullet splinters into shrapnel dealing 40% damage in a cone behind the target, 1.5 second cooldown, which is pretty ideal for a weapon that has a reload time as slow as this weapon, so you can really get the most out of the first shot that you fire, because you can fire twice. So it's pretty interesting in that you can really synergize the last perk and the weapon. It is, it is pretty well made in regards to that. I haven't perked up mine because, like I said, I don't feel shotguns really have a place in the game in relation to my playstyle. I'm much more of a melee guy bringing me to the Baron, look at this one here. Three armor perks on it, 120 armor, giving you more than a 50% damage reduction alone. There is a pretty crazy cap on armor in the game which means that if you go above 100 armor you don't get that much of a boost for it. But I kind of like doing things probably when I do it, yeah. So in this game we're going to be going in with the bomb suit plus 66 armor. We're going to go in the bio energy source so that when we use energy we gain shield. We're going to be having the survivalist to heal up when we take out opponents. Software for hardware heavy attack efficiency, hardware crit rating, maximum overload so we get that kinetic overload damage and a longer duration decoy and what I did was to take the new hero into the new crazy eliminate missions and they are silly fun and when you are playing with bomb squad Kyle and a baron such as this you are pretty freaking immortal it is comparable to the power of the immortal ninja you don't have as much damage because kinetic overload only really gives you like a 50% boost from steel wool Sid but you are close to immortal and you can use your abilities to regenerate shield up. I took a few shots in there with the double boiler as well and it works pretty much as expected. You can to some degree remove crowds of husks with it but the cone is pretty small. The 40% damage is pretty okay actually for a weapon such as this. Mine as I said not completely perked up but I still managed to deal some pretty nice damage with it. Should you buy either of these that are in the event store right now, you should buy them both. And the most important is the hero because you're going to be able to stack up the armor on anything that you want to be playing. And as you can see here, only a thousand damage when I have this 200 plus. 
not 200, 186 build, 1816 damage. This is standing in the storm. You can really, really reduce the amount of damage that you take to become close to immortal now also as a constructor. Grab the constructor if you have excess gold. Go for the double boiler as well. It's a nice thing to have. As always guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.